Welcome to Hacking Your Smart Thermostat. For this demonstration, I will be using a Radio Thermostat CT80 with the optional Wi-Fi module. We will be interacting with the CT80 using Fiddler 2. So here we can see Fiddler. My, um, my thermostat is located at IP address 10.10.50.2. And the first thing we will do is get information from the thermostat. To do this, we go to the Composer tab. We make sure Get is selected. And we type in the IP address of the thermostat, 10.10.50.2. And then we consult the API published by Radio Thermostat. And we see that the resource that we want is located at slash tstat. And then we press execute. Here we can see that our request has been sent. And as this is an embedded system with limited system resources, this can take some time. Don't worry, it should work. When developing custom applications, be sure to take this delay into account. And there we go, we have a uh, JSON response. To view this, we click over to the Inspectors tab and then click JSON. This gives us a nice human readable format to see exactly what's going on with our thermostat. Here we can see the fan mode is set to zero, which is auto. The fan state is zero, which is off. There is no hold set. There is an override. And the thermostat is set to cool at 70 degrees Fahrenheit it is set to heat at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is currently 69 and a half degrees um, at the thermostat itself. We can also see the date and time. Now we're going to go ahead and send hello world to the messaging area on the CT80. To do, it, to do this, we go back to the composer tab. We change from get to post. And then we consult our API. We can see that on the CT80, there is a two-line messaging area available at tstat slash UMA. This is only available on the CT80 and not the CT30. The CT30 has a smaller messaging area available at slash PMA. This is a JSON formatted um, request. And we open by typing in a left brace in the request body. And then we type in quotes the name of the attribute we wish to interface with, and that will be line, end quote, then a colon, and then the value we wish to post to the thermostat. For this, we want to use line one, but because computers start counting at zero, we enter zero. Then a comma, and then the next attribute. This is gonna be message. All of this is available in the API. Now we type another colon and then the value. This value is going to be enclosed in quotes because it is a string. So now we're going to type in hello world, just like that. End the quote, and then end the right brace. Now all we need to do is execute, and it will be sent to the thermostat. Hopefully we will get a 200 response, and we did. And then we check the inspectors tab and we see that the thermostat sent a success message back to us. Now if we check the thermostat, we see hello world on the front of it. If you enter an incorrect address for a get, so we change this to stats, you will receive a 404. So I just sent that. And we can see we're waiting for a response. The 200 means OK. And now we just got a 404. If you get anything but a 200 series message, you want to look into what the error actually is. That concludes this lesson. Um, stay tuned for future lessons on how to create custom scripts and custom applications to interact with your smart thermostats. Thanks for listening.